What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys an off-meta Fortress team for ranked regulation F. Now Fortress is as off-meta as off-meta can get, right? I haven't used this Pokemon, nor have I ever seen this Pokemon in ranked regulation F, so gonna be fun to actually use this Pokemon and throw off our opponent. We got Explosion as one of its moves with normal Terror type, so we can do some big time damage with that. Pair it up next to Dust Cops, we can set the Trick Room at the same time and really get thriving with this team. Fortress has Sturdy as ability, so it's a free Focus Sash in its ability, and it's got the Clear Amulet as item. Its other moves consist of Gyro Ball and Body Press, and last but not least, it has Power Trick, which actually swaps the defense and attack stats with each other. So if we want to boost our attack stat up, we can just use Power Trick, but then our defense will be low, vice versa, right? Pretty cool. But Fortress defense is super, super bulky. So if we want Explosion to do more damage, we can always pop a power trick. Really cool. Cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. Actually try to use it to its fullest potential. But the rest of the team's actually really good. We got Dust Cops, we got Frigraph, two great Trick Room setters, and we got Ursulina, one of the best Pokemon within the Trick Room. Our final two Pokemon are gonna be Incineroar, with those nice little fake outs and intimidates, and last but not least, Raging Bolt, who is a top tier Pokemon in the ranked regulation F meta. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Fortress. First match is on its way, and we're going up against an Incineroar and Rollaboom Trick Room team. Kind of like us, right? They got two Pokemon for Trick Room, Ursaluna, and Farigraph. And then they also have Incineroar, Rollaboom for Fake Outs and stuff like that, and Urshfu and Fluttermane. So a good lead for us maybe might be my boy Fortress. Let me check out this speed. 40 speed, 211 defense. So if we go for a power trick, our attack stat will be absurd. It would be absurd, and I kind of want to go into Fortress here alongside with this Frigraph, right? You have Protect Frigraph. I gotta see if you have Protect. You don't. So I want to explode really, really bad. So maybe I might just go into a Pokemon like you. I think that could be pretty good. So I'm going to go into both of these guys, maybe try to pop a Trick Room and a Power Trick, and then maybe explode and have my Ursaluna come out in the back end. I think that could be really, really good. And then our final Pokemon could be a Pokemon like Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt's speed's actually lower on this team, but a special attack is still super high, so it can still thrive out in the Trick Room. So I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that, but super excited to be using this Pokemon. It's always fun when you use a Pokemon that you never really see or never really use on the rank ladder. So... Hopefully we get started off here with a win. But what I'm really hoping is no fake out users come out here. Or if they do lead a fake out user, we just kind of... They just kind of don't fake us out. And yeah, they're going to go Incineroar here. So Incineroar and Fluttermane should come out here. And to be honest... To be honest... To be honest, they might just double down into my... They might just double down into my Dustclops here. So you might want to Terrasilize or Dustclops. They got Citrus Spray, they got Choice Specs, we got great typing here, um, I could just go into like a Gyro Ball here, instead of a Body Press, and then just like, Terrastalize into straight Dark typing, which wouldn't be bad, that would get a, rid of our weaknesses and just go Trick Room, because there's a possibility that they just go, there's, there's a huge possibility that they just go Knock Off and like Shadow Ball, right? So I think Terrastalizing is going to be good for us. I, re I really do. I really do. They obviously, they could just Flare Blitz my Fortress. But I feel like if they don't, then we get off Trick Room. But if they do, we just die. But we have Sturdy as well. So that could, it could be really good, right? It could definitely be really good. But I'm liking Gyro Ball here. Especially into the Flutter Main. Looking to do some big time damage. And I'm just Moon Blasting me. And of course, I Terrastalize into this. And just get absolutely ripped on. But good thing I did Terrasalize in that because I'm able to survive. I'm able to survive. The Gyro Ball going to come through here. Big time damage with Fortress. Picking up the KO, no problem. And now on top of this, I get Trick Room. So not a bad, not a bad turn. I feel like if we didn't Terrasalize, we'd die, right? Because that Moon Blast still does probably about half damage. Maybe a little bit more. Or a little bit less, I should say. But Knock Off is going to do a huge chunk of damage. So being able to Terrasalize like that... And reading them doubling down into Dusk Ops was huge. So it's huge. So we got off Trick Room. They're able to bring out Ursaluna now. So Ursaluna, really weird. I could just go for a Body Press because it's based off my defense. That might want to be my play because I'm probably slower and I can always explode like the turn after. Or I could go Helping Hand Explosion. But to be honest, I think we just do this. I think we just do this because I should have a Pokemon 
with protect in the back end. Yeah, Raging Bolt. I like it. I like where we're sitting here. So, I'm just going to go Nightshade. And we'll go for a nice little body press into the Ursuline. So, Vacuum Wave's going to fly through here. That's no big deal. I have Sturdy ready to go. So, I can always drop Explosion next turn. But they're going to have to waste it Vacuum Wave. But still, body press should be able to chunk up some nice damage. Based on my defense. So, nice big time body press. Not bad damage. Maybe I should just explode it that turn with Helping Hand. But Flare Blitz is going to come through here. We're going to survive on one. It's going to do some nice recoil damage to Incineroar, though. But on top of that, Ursuline is just going to back you. So from here, I maybe just want to go into Ursuline of my own. Yeah. I'm going to go Ursuline here. So I'm going to bring out my Ursuline. They still have their Terra type. But I'm going to go Ursuline here. Uh, who would I rather get rid of? Let's be honest, who would I rather get rid of here? Who would I rather get rid of? Because Ursula Luna's probably going after. Let's be honest, Ursula Luna's probably going after my fortress with a vacuum wave, right? Most likely. So I'm thinking of just doing this and just blood mooning, right? Into the Ursula Luna, just to try to KO their Ursula Luna. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I wish I had protect, but we know vacuum waves coming out here. They're going to end up terrestrializing. This is looking scary. It's going to be Incineroar. So Incineroar is going to get the Terror type in the water. The good thing we didn't attack that thing with the Earth Power. Actually, glad we did. Real glad. So it ends up Terrasalizing in the water. Body Press is going to fly into that slide. Actually, not too bad damage. You're not going for a vacuum move, which is kind of weird. Hope my Ursaluna is slower, because if that's the case, we should be able just to KO their Ursaluna. And no, they actually go first, which kind of sucks, right? It kind of sucks. But the good thing about this is I have I have my giraffe in the back end. I have my lovely giraffe. So Blood Moon comes through here. We take out the Ursaluna. They're now water type. My Raging Bolt can finish that Incineroar off, no problem. And they can't fake me out anymore. Actually, they can because they decide to parting shot that turn. So that's a solid parting shot turn. It's just a solid turn. So now who do they want to fake out is the real question. They're going to be able to intimidate, but good thing I'm special attacking. This is a great matchup. Forge just got rocking out here in match number one, or at least turn one. Gyro Ball taking out the front of me. We love it. We love it. So Urshifu comes out here, and this is where things get a little rough. Actually, not really, because they can't Terrasalize, and there's two Water-type Pokemon on the field. On the field! Two Water-type Pokemon on the field. So they're gonna bring out you. They're probably, they're gonna have to fake out the Raging Ball, right? If they don't fake out the Raging Ball, you're just taking a Ridiculous amount of damage. But I also get that Protosynthesis boost. Boosting my special attack. So I'm hitting hard. I'm hitting hard. How many turns are left in Trick Room? We have two, which is actually really good for us. And from here, I'm just going to Thunderbolt you down. And I'm just going to Hyper Voice. Definitely my best bet. Definitely my best bet. So they end up faking out the Rage of Bolt. They're probably going to double down in that. I'm hoping we can just soak up whatever he has to offer, right? Rage Bolt's gonna flinch, and what are you going for? Close combat. So you guys shouldn't take out you. Okay, so that's not bad. That's not bad. Not bad at all. But the real question is who do I go after now? Who do I go after now? Because they could party the shot. They could do a lot. Um, Trick Room's still here, so I might just want to go after you, right? I might just want to go after you because you're not KOing me, it's anymore. But you might detect you. I'm, I'm still just gonna go after Earth Shoe here. I'm going to go into Thunderbolt and Urshifu using our last turn of Trick Room. And then after that, we're just going to roll out with Thunderclaps. But if Urshifu doesn't detect here, which it might. I kind of want to go after Incineroar because of that. But if I don't, I really don't want to allow Urshifu to get off the turn. But if it doesn't protect, we just KO and we win this game. No problem, right? So let's see. Hopefully it's just like choice. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, I went for th I thought I went for Thunderbolt. Oh, okay. I thought I went for Thunderbolt. That works out fine, though. <laughs> that works out fine. Thunderclap's gonna pick up the KO. That's actually crazy. I really did think we went for Thunderbolt. So I almost screwed ourselves over with a misclick or a misread, right? I just saw Thunder, so I clicked it. But Thunderclap's gonna pick up the KO there, and I'm just gonna go into another Thunderclap here. Keep spamming it until this thing dies out, and they just cancel the match. Fortress for the win in match number one.
what a way to get this video started winning with fortress and actually get to using them really really well we got off a big time gyro ball to take out the flutter main and on top of that body press do some nice damage over onto ursa Luna. but we're hopping into our second match going up against straight men this is a meta team one of the best teams for rank regulation f if i win this one this team going crazy but they got ursu they got raging bolt flutter main incineroar uh, and real boom and last but not least a move so trick room we got to pull it off right we have to pull off trick room um trying to think of ways we can just go into it and i'm thinking of leaning forward just again i'm looking to have some fun with this more so than anything a move is going to be a problem if we do set up trick room so i don't know if we should lead it but i might just go you alongside with dust Clops, or i could go in with frigoraf instead the only problem with frigoraf would be if i choose to explode right which i'm kind of i kind of want to choose to explode it's just a good idea. So I'm going to go actually Dusk Ops here. Burns could be good for us too. Um, backhand Pokemon Ursaluna if we're setting up the Trick Room. And last but not least, either Incineroar or Raging Bull. And I'm thinking Raging Bull. I'm thinking we're just going to go in the same squad here, right? It just looks like it works out well. Raging Bull is just so good, especially for that first turn priority. If Flutter means low, if Urshifu's out on the field, Thunderclap just does big time damage on top of being super effective onto a few of the Pokemon. So I really do like it. I really do like it. But let's see who they need. Who you got cooking here? I really want to try to pull off a power trick this game. Do something a bit different, right? They're going to go instant right. I got the clear aggro. So for them here, they, they could just fake out the forward trick. They could. They could. I might just explode this turn. I might just explode this turn. They see all my items. They see what we're cooking with. But the real question is, who's slower? Amoongus, are you slower than me? You could be. I don't know, though. But I'm going to go for a power trick here. I'm going to go power trick, and I'm just going to go... I could go trick room, but they're going to put me to sleep. They're going to put me so to sleep, right? Ah, that's brutal. That's brutal. We don't like this. I'm still going to go for it. Hopefully, rage powders or something. Let's see what he ends up doing. I'm hoping he goes for a flare blitz in the fortress instead of faking it out, right? But if I were them, I'd fake out fortress and then just straight up put dust cops to sleep. We're gonna hope not, right? Hopefully a rage pattern flies through. Withdrawals Incineroar. He withdraws Incineroar, and who are you gonna go into? I'm gonna go into Fluttermane. You're gonna go into Fluttermane, who I can just gyro ball. Speed's gonna get heightened, and Amoongus, what are you doing? You're just gonna protect. I still kinda wanna explode. And the reason I say I still want to explode is because I feel like Amoongus is just a bigger threat than anything, right? I could just go Gyro Ball. And always just go next turn. And maybe just Nightshade double down into this, but I mean, one Gyro Ball is going to KO. I'm going to try to explode next turn. I'm going to see if I can get another turn out of this. Yeah, they don't go for Rage Powder, so Fortress. Just ripping. Just ripping. Do not put my boy to sleep. If they put Fortress to sleep, I'm going to be upset because I'm exploding next turn. Why? Why you got to be like this? Why you got to put my boy to sleep? I was about to explode. I'm trying to explode. But Nightshade chipping up a little bit of damage. I feel like I'm going to get Spore Spank here, right? I feel like this is going to be a big time problem, but they're going to bring back out Incineroar, right? Yes, which, uh, okay, I don't mind. I might just burn the Amoongus. It's probably better than anything, right? And at least try to explode. <laughs> right, let's try to explode. But I'm, I'm just gonna throw a burn onto this Amoongus just to chip up some damage uh, each turn. Fortress is going to be slumped. So they're probably going for a Flare Blitz. They'll probably take some nice recoil. And yeah, I knew it. I knew I was gonna get Spore spammed. Really? Wow. So annoying. So I'm going to get Flare Bits here. They will take some nice recoil. But I am sturdy, so I will live another turn. I will live another turn. So if Fortress can just have like a one turn sleep here, this would be beautiful. And it should be a thing. The more sleeps you have, the, uh, the less turns you should be sleeping. But I'm just going to go for this again. And I'm going to go for Helping Hand. Maybe, maybe both my Pokemon have one turn sleeps. 
Nope, dust cloud slumped. Fortress, wake up, get a little explosion off. No, we're dead. We just just love this game. I just love this game, right? We just love being asleep. We just we just love being asleep. We just love it. Cool, so Fortress down for the count. Destroying Flutter Mage today, which I do love. And I already know what's gonna happen here, right? I already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna bring out Ursula and they're just gonna put me to sleep. Like, just love this game. I just love it. I just love it. Um. Yeah, we're gonna go into Ursula. Uh. Ba -ba -ba Bam. This is just a pain, right? I'm going. Like, I'm going to sleep. This is so annoying. I'm gonna go for Blood Moon. Though. Just try to get rid of Amoongus. How many turns are left in Trick Room? One. Okay, so Trick Room's done after this. I could reset it. I could just try to go for another Trick Room next turn. But I'm just gonna go for Nightshade here. I'm just gonna keep chunking up some damage. But I know I'm going to sleep already. So it's just brutal. Like, come on, man. Come on. This, this, how, this is how we're playing. I seriously hope I win this match now. That's Cops does wake up, which is pretty cool. Pretty solid. I'm able to, to nightshade this Incineroar a little bit. But now my Ursuline is slumped. Like, come on. That's what I gotta deal with. Knockoff's gonna fly through here. And there's the KO. Okay, so now I got Raging Bolt. And Trick Room's gone. So from here... If I don't KO Amoongus, I do go to sleep. But I kind of want to KO Incineroar more so than anything. Because if Amoongus is going to put us to sleep, he can put us to sleep. But, uh, I'm just annoyed at it. I'm just annoyed, right? I mean, everybody would be annoyed. Yeah, put to sleep three times. Like, Spores should not be 100% accurate. It's just, it just boggles my mind. But I'm going to rip a Blood Moon here. I'm going to go for Thunderbolt into the slot. Right, yeah, let's go Thunderbolt here. Look, just KO the Incineroar. I should have went for Dragon Pulse. Just in case the Rage Powder is going to be a thing. But by the way, it looks, they're probably spore me again. Yeah, it looks like they're going to spore me. So Thunderbolt's going to finish off the uh, Incineroar, no problem. Get it on out of here. And let's see. Watch this, guys. Hopefully I wake up. No, I'm, of course I'm asleep. Watch this, guys. Watch this. I bet you they're sporing. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? Oh, my lord. I'm going to email the Pokemon company. Find this dude. Get him banned. Get this dude banned. We want him out of here. We want this dude banned. They should be banned. They should be banned. So, now they could terrestrialize. Um, I like our Ursulina's typing here. I still have Terra as well. And I'm going to shoot a Terra into Electric. And the reason being, I don't really want to take some big time uh, dragon damage from their Raging Bolt. Oh my lord. So, they're going to terrestrialize as well. But all my Pokemon are still asleep. Raging Bolt's gonna go electric, right? And guess what? I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing the same thing. My Ursaluna can win this match, no problem. I just need to, to wake up. Because Blood Moon should be able to take out Amoongus. And then on top of that, Raging Bolt's really not doing any crazy damage on my, onto my Ursaluna. So I can just hit it with an Earth Pack. Of course. But of course, I'm asleep now. Dragon Pulse gonna fly through here, so they're targeting down Ursula. Actually, did some really good damage. Rage Bolt Slump. Ursula, can you just wake up, please? You wake up here, we win this game. Thank you. Thank you. Blood Moon should KO. You should absolutely rip into this, right? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. I swear, are you spawning Ursula again? I cry. I might cry. If they want to win like this, they can win like this. But come on, man. That's just crazy to me. It really is just crazy to me. That's just crazy to me. Come on, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. There should be like a rule. It's like spore. You should only get like three spores in a game, right? Raise your bolts, wake it up. Take this thing out here. I'm still here, though. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm, I, I refuse to let this person win this game. I refuse. I refuse. That's my fifth time getting put to sleep. Right? Fortress got put to sleep. Dust Cops got put to sleep. Raging Bolt got put to sleep. And Ursulina got put to sleep twice. That's five. That's five. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. So I'm ripping these Dragon Pulses. I'm getting after this. They're taking out my Ursulina here. But it's fine. It's fine. I got my booster energy and special attack. How much damage are we chucking up here? Watch, they're gonna get crit here. Beat me. I'm gonna be so upset. Oh, 
Yes. Yes, sir. Yo, finish this game, Rage and Bolt. Finish this game, because you soaked that all day, even with a crit. You soaked that all day. But I got that booster energy. Get this, get this guy on out of here. Five spores and losing? Get him on out of here. Get him on out of here. Final match on its way, and I think in the last match, my Pokemon slept a week's worth of sleep, right? They were just knocked out the whole battle, but we ended up winning. We're 2-0 with Fortress, and I want to try to explode this game. Hopefully, they won't put me to sleep. Good thing they don't have any sleep users, but they have a pretty solid team. They got Chiyu and Flutterman, which would be a tough lead for us to actually kind of counter, right? It would be a tough lead for us. If they lead that, oh, we are in some trouble. Oh. We are in some trouble. If they if they lead Chiyu Flutterman here, I'm trying to look at like Pokemon that I can counter this, and I can't. I don't. I cannot. So I'm gonna go for the Trick Room, and we're gonna have fingers crossed that you know they don't have that. Actually, I'd rather go in with you, right? Because if they have Taunt on Whimsicott, that'd be a little bit of a problem. But we're here. We're gonna go into these two. I'm going to bring Ursuline back in. And then last but not least, Raging Bolt. So we're just not using Incineroar today, which is pretty crazy, right? It's pretty crazy not to use Incineroar, but I don't mind not using Incineroar. It's Incineroar. Like, you guys really want to see Incineroar? Probably not, right? You guys see it all the time. It's on pretty much every single team that we use. So I'm not going to force using Incineroar. And plus, I like the Pokemon that we've been using. They've been working out well for us. So they're going to go into... Yeah, okay, that's the game. Should I run it? Should I run the battle? We're in some trouble. We're in some trouble here. We're in some trouble because I personally do not have protect on this thing. But I would love to just go for a gyro ball because gyro ball rocks. Um, we're going to go for trick room. We're going to go for gyro ball. And maybe just maybe they end up like protecting somebody or making like a stupid play. But it'd be pretty simple for them to just go in the heat wave and Dazzle Gleam, right? So maybe, just maybe, they can miss both Heat Waves and we can just get rolling here. But a Dark Pulse, they could go for Dark Pulse, which would be bad. Dark Pulse, Dazzle Gleam, I maybe, I probably should have Terrasalized my Furigraph here. I definitely should have Terrasalized Furigraph, because now Furigraph's dead, because they're doubling down. Yeah. So Furigraph's dead. But Fortress is alive, and Fortress is going to take out Fluttermane. So actually, yeah, we should have just Terrasalized for a graph. But honestly, I think we still die out if we Terrasalized for a graph. We had a crit. We were taking out Fluttermane regardless. But yo, Fortress has been the killer of Fluttermane today. What's your Terra type, Fairy? I think you still die, right? You still die. You still die to that. So, terrestrializing you doesn't really do anything. It doesn't do anything. But now, what do we do? I, I don't know. We have Trick Room Squad with no Trick Room. Womp, womp. Womp, womp. And now down those. Okay. Um. Mm. Mm. Is there any way we can win this one? I would love to. I would love to, but pff, it ain't looking good. It ain't looking hot for us at all. It is not looking hot. So they could hard swap to you. They really could. Uh, I could terrestrialize you into fairy. Do we want to? Probably. Most, most likely, right? Yeah, let's terrestrialize you into fairy. I like that. So they're not going to swap, which is pretty good because Fortress, well, Fortress is dead. Unless they missed heat. But Blood Moon Ursuline can go fairy type. And we can start chunking up damage on the Dodge so unless it protects here. It would be an odd protect, but not really. And they do. Of course they do. There comes another Heat Wave. Dodge it, Fortress. Fortress, dodge it. I love you, Fortress. I love you, Fortress. Oh, and you get a crit, though? Come on, man. And a burn? Stop. Stop this, yo. They're lucky we're 2 0 already. Blood Moon gonna get blocked. Body press, how much damage you cooking? How much damage you whipping up in this thing? I think you could do some nice damage. That's some nice damage. And did you okay, you're sashed. I was gonna say, is this just a one HP bandit? Nah, they sashed. Lovely, just what I want. Just what I want. So now he's sitting here. I'm gonna try to explode because I can. And I wish I had vacuumed at this point. 
But I'm just gonna rip a... Uh... Oh, I can't use that again, even if it's protected. I might just rip a Moonblast. Oh, we'll do more. Moonblast would actually do more. I'm just gonna go for a Moonblast. Maybe they might swap into Tatsu here. Now would be the time for them to swap into Tatsu. But Forge just with that dodge, but they're so lucky they had Sash, man. <laughs> Look at look at look for your side, Joe. He came to play today. He actually did really good. We didn't get to explode with him, but he's thriving with gyro balls and body press. I'll give it to him. I didn't expect him to do this good today, video. But he ends up swapping the Chiyu. That's fine with me. What are you going for? A surf, maybe? Tatsu Gear gonna come out here? What are you ripping a surfy? Our explosion is gonna do zero damage. Interesting. But I think he's taking this both out regardless. Right? Stab boosts are insane. Maybe we get a crit. Maybe we can crit. They got a crit. Can we crit? EQ's gonna fly here. And yeah, that's a, that's a double KO all day. Actually, Ursuline is soaked. Ursuline is soaked. And it should be able to survive burn. So we might get another turn out here. The Moonblast cooking. And it does a measly six damage. <laughs> that was bad. We survived on one, but dude, Dante's just gonna get cooking here with a with a Terra EQ, right? Right, Terra EQ makes the most sense. They got this one on lock. Unless they for some reason don't terrasize and I thunderclap and crit. That'd be the only way. That'd be the only way we win we win this game. Or have a have even a shot. But hey, I'll take this I'll take my chances. I'll take my chances. We're gonna blow moon as well. I'll take my chances, but yeah, this is just easy. Yeah, see, easy Terra, easy EQ. That's gonna be game set match. But yo, GG's to our opponent. They just had such a perfect lead for us. Butter Man Chiyu. Our team just couldn't count. They like n nobody I could have let could have counted it, right? They were just ripped up into me. They were just ripped up into me regardless. But Thunderclap's gonna fire, do negative six, and here's the EQ. That's gonna be a game. So we're gonna go two one for today's video, right? Rage Bolt dies out this. No, actually, Rage of Bolt survives, but I'm running this one regardless. I am running this one. So again, GG's to our opponent. 2-1 for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Fortress on the rank ladder. Absolutely love this guy. Did not get to explode with him today, but Gyro Ball Body Press got work done. 2-1 winning record. Cannot complain about that. You had Dust Cops. You had Furograph to set up the Trick Rooms. Rage of Bolt was really, really good in today's video as well. And alongside with Ursaluna, can't beat that Pokemon in Trick Room. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.